I have powered on this LG washing machine. All the lights around the knob have turned on. I will set the machine to rinse plus spin function. Now I will press the play and pause button of the washer. When I press the play and pause button, the washing machine is not starting the function. The display of the washer is fine. Now let's start fixing this issue. I have removed the motherboard from the washer. Now I will troubleshoot this problem. Now where will I start looking for the problem in the motherboard, as the button is not working? I will check the display PCB from the backside to see whether any electronic component is faulty or the button is mechanically damaged. Removing this control board is easy. You can see these plastic locks are made to hold the control board. This is the first, this is the second, and the third. I will push these locks and the control board will come out of this plastic box. Now I have separated both PCBs. You can see this is rust on these wires. The machine is also too much rusty from the top. Due to this, some rust has transferred to the motherboard wires. I think the washer had a water dripping problem, which made it rusty. This other side of the washer is fine. This is a clear indication. As the water has dropped on the wires. See the connector condition due to water. Scales have been made inside the connector. These scales make conductivity on these connectors, and the motherboard will hang means it will sometimes start functioning and sometimes not. These pins don't need to be joined together. I will clean these connectors first. I have cleaned the connector of the motherboard. Other than this I have cleaned the plugging connector as well. Now I will connect this motherboard with the washer and check whether it works fine now. I have placed a control board in the washer. And I have passed electricity to it. Now I press the power on button. Oh! Now the lights with the knob have not turned on. It should have worked after cleaning. Now it has got some other issues as well. So let's check this motherboard further. First as you saw all these LED lights around the knob were working. But now they are not. This new problem has been generated in this motherboard. This IC is installed in this motherboard. This is a LED driver IC. If it goes bad, it will still cause the problem. But I have experienced when the wire traces of these motherboard gets damaged. As how this motherboard trace is damaged from here. Then it causes problems with the washer. Detergent has been gradually came inside the motherboard, making the motherboard go damaged. The traces has started to go bad over here as well. Other than this, trace has been damaged. It has been damaged from here. The traces are damaged from here as well. All these damaged traces will not let this motherboard to work properly. Other than this, these resistors and diodes are installed here. If these get bad, still the problem will occur. One more thing. If these LED lights also go bad or short circuit still, it will cause this problem. I will check whether this button is working fine or not. Because it is not working. Now I will check this button on continuity mode. These are the pin of the button where I will place the probe of the multimeter. The button is fine, as it shows continuity. The problem is in this PCB. This bigger PCB seems fine to me. Now as you can see I have fixed the damaged traces of this motherboard. I rubbed the traces with the sandpaper and then soldered them. This has made the traces fixed. I have fixed all the traces this same way. I have soldered this bigger trace too. Now I have placed it on the washer to check it. Now I will press the power button to switch it on. It turned on all the LED lights, but the last two LED lights did not turn on. And these two lights have turned on. This means that this PCB has a short circuit. Let's find this short circuit and fix it. Let me tell you what components I have checked in this motherboard. All these diodes are good. I have checked them. Both these capacitors are also good. I have checked these diodes installed in different point of this circuit. They all are good. All the components I have checked are good. Some components are left to be checked. I will open these locks to remove the plastic from the front of the knob. If these LED lights are short circuited, then they could cause the problem. Now I will check all these LED lights. If any of these lights are bad, 
then this LED driver IC will not work properly. It tells the microcontroller how many LED lights are turned on and how many are turned off. If the LED goes bad, the start button will not work. This could be the problem. Now I have put the multimeter on diode mode. And we can check the LED on diode mode. 9 volts pass through the battery, which makes the LED light work. The red probe is the anode. Black is the cathode. The LED has started to glow. Let's check the next one. This LED is showing reading but not glowing. The third is also glowing. I will check all the LED lights with this method. All the LED lights are good except this one. It glows when the motherboard is powered on. It is not glowing when I check it this way. It could be faulty. See, this LED is not showing any reading when I have changed the probe. But this LED light is showing reading on both the polarities of the diode. It is not glowing as well. Let's check the LED light on this side of the control board. This LED is glowing fine. As if any one LED short circuits. It will make the whole PC be shorted. All these 10 LED lights are fine. This red LED light is also fine. Only this one, LED, is short. You can see detergent has fallen on this area of the PCB. This could be the reason that this LED has short circuited. This LED is glowing, which is fine. But I have removed this from the motherboard to check it. This LED still is not working after being removed from the motherboard. Which means it has gone bad. I will change the side of the LED. It is still not glowing. This means it is short circuit. I have changed it in the motherboard. Let's see the motherboard and how it works now in the washer. You can see I have changed both these LED lights. These both seem to be white in color, but they are the same orange colored LED. I have already passed electricity to the washer. The red LED is blinking. I have pressed the power button. All the lights around the knob have turned on. I have set it on rinse function. Now I will press the start button. The washer has started to work. It has started the function. The drain pump has started to work. The washer drum has started to rotate. Let's wait for the drum rotation in the other direction. Its drum is rotating on the other side as well. The water inlet valve is also working fine. So as you saw, how did a single LED make this problem, which has now been fixed? Click on the left or right thumbnail on the screen to watch our next videos. And subscribe. It's free. Thank you.